Hey guys, today I'm going to do my best to answer a question that's asked quite often in the internet marketing space, and that is, should I use AdSense or affiliate offers to monetize my site? Uh, so there's no short answer, first off, and that's because every niche has a different demographic, different people you can reach out to, um, you know, different age groups, different um, genders, different uh, income levels, etc., etc., different interests. <clears throat> um, so that alone makes it difficult to say this is best. Um, or this is best because it's really all going to depend and then also even within a very tight niche where you have the same exact demographic you know you, you have one website that converts a lot better or worse than another website because there's different angles that you can use there's different uh, website types that you can use different you know just a lot of different variables even within a tight niche so there's a few things that you want to look at I'm gonna go over what I look at whenever I determine that so first off uh, I almost always start off wanting to monetize with an affiliate offer because affiliate offers tend to pay a lot more than AdSense clicks. Um, although that's not always the case because you know one thing you want to consider is yeah okay you know an AdSense click might be 50 cents depending on the niche sometimes they can be a couple dollars a click but let's just say 50 cents for the sake of argument um, and then an affiliate offer maybe it pays you 20 bucks so you know automatically you think okay well I'd rather have twenty dollars than fifty cents but you also have to consider for every one affiliate sale if it were an AdSense site you would get a lot more than one click most likely um, in most cases so you can't compare them directly but in most cases it does uh, turn out to be an, you know the affiliate offer will make you more money usually but there are a few things to consider uh, first off, <clears throat> is there even an affiliate offer to promote for your website? Because there's a lot of niches out there, and believe me, I've ran into this a lot, where you have a niche, you think it's a good niche, you've done your keyword research, it has good search volume, low competition, um, <clears throat> so you're thinking, okay, this is going to be a good one, I'm going you know, to do well with this. And then you go out and look for an affiliate offer, and you can't find one, because you know there's some niches where there's just nothing to sell. Um, or there's nothing to sell that's even worth it because like you know uh, there are some niches where there's a lot of products out there but it's just in a, that certain weird niche where there's no affiliate programs or there may be affiliate programs but the commission percentage is like you know four percent which happens um, on a you know on a product that's already cheap so you know your commission might be a dollar or two um, whereas you know if you had a AdSense on that site, you get a lot more clicks, and they may very well convert into more money than if you had the affiliate offer. So that's one thing to consider. You always want to first make sure, or we'll find out, um, are there products to sell in this niche? If there are, or you know, if there's not, then you're probably better off going the AdSense route. If there are, there's a few more things you want to check. Uh, are there is there an affiliate program for any of these products what's the best affiliate program so you just have to you know I usually just get on Google do a search um, you know whatever niche affiliate program or the product affiliate program and just kinda do some manual searching <clears throat> um, Clickbank is a good place to look for digital products etc uh, but and then once if if there are affiliate programs um, assuming there are then you want to check out you know what's the payout are you know are they only giving me four percent are they giving me fifty percent seventy five percent you know what's the percentage I'm gonna get what's that turn out to be um, monetarily how much money am I going to make um, you know aside from all the percentages and all this stuff how much money am I going to make per sale and then you have to think about uh, you know how long is it going to take me to convert one of these sales whereas if I had a fit, AdSense on there I could be you know getting clicks right away they're a lot cheaper but at least I'm making some money whereas you know a certain affiliate program may not even be worth it, it may not even convert so you want to look at the sales page make sure the sales page looks credible legitimate you might even want to do a test uh, purchase just to make sure uh, the you know the process works maybe it's an old website and it's broken they don't even support it anymore so you want to make sure it's a quality product quality sales page it converts well the commission percentage is high enough to where it's worth it to promote it um, etc so these are all things that I look at um, right away so first off I look you know I want to promote affiliate offers usually that's almost always the best case um, but like I said you know, after you go through all those things that I just discussed that's when you decide you know how much money am I going to make per sale and is it going to convert so those are the two main things is it going to convert and and you know that get, gets into the quality of the sales page the relevance of the offer to your your website etc and then how much money am I going to make 
if it does convert you know when it does convert how much how many dollars am I going to make per sale <clears throat> Okay, so that's what you want to look at uh, when you're looking into the affiliate offers. Now, a lot of times that just won't work. Um, you either won't find a product that's good to promote, or you do find one, but it doesn't have an affiliate program, or it does have an affiliate program, and it's just not even worth it because you're not going to make hardly anything. Okay, so in that case, you look, you turn to AdSense, and there's a there's well one main thing you want to look at for AdSense, and that is you want to make sure there are ads to be displayed, because sometimes if you don't find any affiliate products or affiliate offers, there's a reason. That's because you know people aren't paying for ads, and if no one's paying for ads, you're going to have the same problem with AdSense. So, um, and that's what you're looking at here. There's a quick and easy way to check that. So I stuck in two keywords here just to show you an example. Um, credit card offer and elephant skin collar. Credit card offer, obviously, that's a very, um, <clears throat> you know, that's a term that is going to have advertisers. Um, you know, you can you know that before you even search because it's about credit cards. And then elephant skin collar, that's just an obscure phrase that I came up with because I knew that, you know, there's most likely not going to be people um, paying for ads for that keyword. So you do a search for them in the Google Keyword Tool. Just go to Google and type in Google Keyword Tool and you'll find it. And this is what comes up and you'll see right here, competition. <clears throat> and we're not looking for these words. We want to uh, put our cursor over that word. And as you can see it says 0 0.9. <clears throat> now what that says, that what that means is there's a lot of advertisers um, targeting that keyword. So if you want to run an AdSense site for that, you're going to get um, highly relevant offers in your AdSense block that you put on your website. Now this right here says 0.16. That's very low. So if you look at these numbers, just remove the zero and just think of it as zero to 100. So 16. That means 16 percent. So there's 16 percent uh, competition. That's very low. That means if you have a website targeting this phrase and you have AdSense on it, the ads that are displayed are not going to be relevant to this keyword. In other words, no one's going to click your ads. So even if you, you know, let's say you couldn't find an affiliate pro, uh, offer, so you decided to go to AdSense, well, you're not going to make any money with AdSense either because there's not any ads. You know, there's not, there's very few in this case, 16%. Uh, that's very, very low. <clears throat> in this case, however, 90%, and it's probably over 90%. It's probably closer to 95 or even up to 100, uh, almost 100%. Um, so that means there are a lot of ads. That means if you had a website um, with AdSense on it for this phrase, you're going to get highly relevant ads. So that means your click-through rate is going to be higher. You're going to get more people clicking on your AdSense ads. So that's something you always want to look at for any website that you decide to target with AdSense. You want to make sure that this is you know, at least uh, 0.6, but even higher would be even better. 0.6 is on the low end. I always like it to be 7, 8, 9. Um, because you want as many advertisers as possible. So, and um, that's pretty much you know the main thing I look at. If I'm you know working on a, an extremely authoritative website, I'll do more testing. I won't just you know rely on the logic that I've just now um, explained. Because if it's a long-term, high-budget, um, authoritative website, then you want to do some testing. And you know that goes out outside of the scope of this. Um, you know you want to do split testing and you know put AdSense on one page, affiliate offers on another page, split test it, see which one's better, always try to beat that version, etc, etc. So that's a little more complicated but for you know little small niche uh, websites, um, anything you're doing just for money, you're not trying to make a big huge authoritative website, then the logic I explained, that's what I've been using for years, it works very well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so you know you start off looking for affiliate offers, good quality affiliate offers that are going to make you a lot of money. If you know, if everything you, that I just discussed just doesn't work out, you can't find a good offer, a good relevant offer that you think will convert well. Then you you know go to AdSense, but then you want to check you know and make sure that there's enough competition to make it worth it. Because there's some situations where you find an awesome niche, but there's just it's not you're just not going to make money with it. And sometimes that's why it seems like such an awesome niche. You know you have such as this high search volume and low competition. And sometimes that's exactly why there's such low competition, competition, because there's just no money in it, <clears throat> you know, with AdSense or affiliates. So, those are the two main things that I look for, and I hope that helps.